Hello YouTubers, welcome to P-Diner Royally, Royally Teachable Moments. I wanted to make an acknowledgement to Prince William. He is, you know, doing some really inspirational work to help out youth, those who are on the brink of homelessness. He is the patron of a charity called Centerpoint, and he attended an open house at the Reuben House. And it's a development in Peckham, South London, which is designed to help young people get their lives back. So we must commend Prince William for his duties as royalty, doing good things in the community, helping those who could use an extra hand up. That's really admirable. I like that. And there's no underlining motive behind it. It really is to do good work. He's in a position of privilege. You give back. This is what you do without trying to deceive and scam and swindle and do all these other things that have ulterior motives. It's genuine and that's what we can appreciate. And good work for Prince William. I really love to hear that. He is helping with this new housing scheme that is said to help Britons, you know, with homelessness. There's a lot of homelessness and to put an end to it. And I don't know if you all have seen pictures in the States. This is so disturbing to me. There are cities in this country with people who are addicted to drugs and they are walking zombies in different places in the States. It is so disturbing. What is being done about that? I don't know, but I just don't see how this is getting any better here in the States. And it's almost like I wish we had something like an equivalent of royalty or celebrities that really put a focus on helping out different parts of the community and within the country, because this is an epidemic. It is going on in different cities. I know in Philadelphia and in Los Angeles, there are these pockets of just horrific sights to see. And I think what William is doing is really good. Now, speaking of which, we saw that Prince Harry just came back from being over in the United Kingdom. He was uh, speaking in this trial against the newspapers who have apparently by his thought and imagination or his insinuating that they have tapped his phones years ago and he's suddenly bringing this to the fore now. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, there is a reason. And he didn't have any evidence to back up anything that he said. But anyway, he's back from over in the UK. And what does he do? He attends an event similar to the Invictus Games. I think the Invictus Games was inspired by these warrior games that are here in the States. It was in San Diego. You can clearly see the aligning of this couple and how Harry is now doing his own thing without his wife because they are trying to create this individual branding of what they're doing. And Harry, I don't know what he thinks is gonna happen with him and his brand, because he is a fish out of water here in America. He's looking for purpose, and that was the whole reason why he attended this event to show his connection to what he's doing in the UK with the Invictus Games and the equivalent of that here in the States. But he looks so misplaced and his wife, if anything, should have been here with him. I mean, weren't they seen together at another previous veterans event where she came in this big red dress and the Duke and the Duchess and how prevalent they were announced during this event that was there to honor the servicemen. But what does Harry do now that his wife is not in the game? He's still coming to brand himself off of the backs of these servicemen. There's no real support there for these men here in this country around his work as uh, someone who is fighting for the rights of veterans because his whole mission is his charity and his work within his country. Why is he trying to plant himself here superficially 
around something that really has no true connection to him and who he is as a prince. Now, I know you could say I'm going to be a little bit too critical. At least he was here doing something for the veterans. And that is all well and good. But it's not like this is something that was in his wheelhouse of support in the States. His support has always been towards the things that connect him to his country. And if he's going to do something here in the States that's similar to what he did in the United Kingdom, at least be with your wife, who is the American, supporting the American version of Invictus Games. But you being planted here in America for a United States event that is really very, very much American, you need to be with your wife in this moment because you are supporting this vicariously through her. Like it just seems so misplaced to me. Your wife got you here spinning your wheels, not understanding the role that you're playing <laughs> in America. <sighs> Man, just, just sad, isn't it? It's just sad. Speaking of which, the proof has come out and I think this is part of the story that needs to really be understood by those that support this woman. Cause this is what we've been saying all along. We've been talking about it, but it's starting to slowly come out that Megan has been setting up these PR leaks and being the source for some of the stories that we've seen. And isn't it ironic that Harry was just in the United Kingdom talking about how the press and how his life has been turned upside down because of the intrusion into his own life. And all along, his wife is accused of leaking stories to the press. If this is not some conniving, I don't know what is. It is just unbelievable. The Royal Observer actually broke this story. So Jassal Parshatam, who is one of the most successful photographers in the business, he joined Dax Holt and Adam Glenn of Hollywood Raw podcast to discuss the couple. Now, when asked straight up, if Megan had ever, ever, ever tipped off photographers, what did he say? Now, it wasn't like he said, no, because she has it. What did he say? What do you say when you don't want to admit to something? What do you say? You say, well, I'm just not going to say. And that we know means, oh, but it means yes. You just don't want to say yes. And that's exactly right. But when Dax tried pressing him by stating that's actually really interesting. All right. I'm going to say that says a lot. It does. And then Parsim went on to say, I'll let you boys interpret that as you wish. I can't say it's a categorical no. And I can't say it's a categorical yes. Oh, but I can say categorically that you just don't want to say it is a yes. <laughs> when it is a yes. Oh, yes. So according to the Royal Observer, Megan has indeed leaked stories to different media outlets, citing one example that happened just last year. Mm hmm. Just last year, folks. So in the summer of 2020, it was reported that Megan and Harry's publicist fed a royal journalist information about drones that were flying over their California house. This source said they see these drones coming in at them and they guess that they are being operated by photographers, but that they can't assume that. Megan did receive some racist death threats at the time of her wedding, said the alleged source. So whenever there's a source saying that there are these photographers maybe in these helicopter drones, they have to assume it could also be related to this threat back when they got married. So we don't know if it's photographers. So it has to be looked at very seriously when these things are being reported. But isn't that something that this woman was the source for these drone hoverings over their home. Megan is the reason why this information is hitting the news. And isn't this the whole reason why she doesn't even want to speak to her father anymore because he did something kind of similar with the press. And here she goes doing it busted, called out by the photographers. 
So you tell me the people that support this woman and what she does and her advocacy work, all of this, how you can be called out by the photographers that have really ratted you out as being the source of these stories. It's just really sad to see this deception play out before our eyes. And it is historical. We've never had anything so deeply seated in nefarious behavior like we have with what Megan is doing and how more and more of this is becoming uncovered. And I think it shows us that there are things that we haven't seen yet that are still going to come to light. This is just the beginning, folks, of what we're actually seeing, because the more this goes on and it continues, the more people that have been involved or who know information such as this photographer, they're going to start to reveal the information that will eventually come to light. And then in this all glory, Megan will be exposed for how she has deceptively manufactured and curated all of everything that we're seeing. Because this is a dream for her. This is a life that she played to have come true. And it's come true in a way that she's been able to manipulate it to come true.